welcome back i'm officially back guys i know i know it's been a while but i had to do some research honestly because i cannot come here on youtube and give you guys half as research and then expect you guys to be happy much less expect you guys to follow me like and comment plus subscribe that just won't be fair to you guys because i need to come here give you my best and then expect the best I am dedicated to helping people change their lives, change their mindset, especially their mindset, emotional growth, happiness, relationships. That I'm, that's what I'm all about. The first question would be, do you really want to change? I mean, think about it. Just, just think about it for a second. Do you visualize in the morning when you wake up? Do you visualize yourself as a successful person, as a happy person, as a confident person, a person that is self-aware, that takes care of themselves, love themselves, all of that. If that, if that is the person you want to be, stay here. But if you don't, still stay here. People are often driven by things that come from the past, I would say. Like, mostly trauma, emotional damage. Um, for me for example it would be um not having the correct mindset from a young age or not being taught the foundation of a proper mindset at the end of the day it only takes one decision just one do you want to change or don't you make a wise choice please so keeping the motivation how do you keep motivation because honestly i can tell you I've struggled with this so, so, so much. I cannot, literally, in a year, if I tell you I'm exercising, that means three days in six months. Done. Three days in six months. That's me exercising, or that was me. But keeping motivation sometimes can be hard, I know. You need to tackle your thoughts, because at the end of the day, motivation comes from that burning desire to go forward, keep going, keep growing, keep moving, keep hustling, whatever you call it. That you have to have motivation in life. Because if you don't have motivation to go forward, then just stay at one place. That's, a, that's simply what you want to do. Just stay at one place. There's no problem. This channel ain't for people that don't want to learn. This channel is for my hustlers. Self-awareness, when keeping motivation, self-awareness is really important to me because um, you need to know about your emotions, your thoughts. I mean, you need to look at it in depth. What do you always think about? What are your emotions like on a day-to-day -day basis? Because at the end of the day, you need to tackle those. Those are the beginning, the thoughts, the emotions, the self-care, the you need to, all of those you need to set boundaries at the end of the day if you know you have an emotional problem and you're around people that always put you down emotionally or they always want to step on you you need to set boundaries you need to tell them no no you need to set your boundaries because setting boundaries is not only respecting yourself but it's protecting yourself from unwanted emotional damage, trauma. You are literally you're saving yourself from all that when you set boundaries for yourself. Because you know you have to know your worth. You have to know what makes you happy, what makes me sad, what makes me jump. All of those. On a day-to-day -day basis, your thoughts are all about, oh no. I didn't, I, I didn't sleep well, now I'm in a bad mood, so my whole day is going to be ruined. I don't want to go exercise, I don't want to do work, um, who, who said what to me. If your thoughts are all negative, honestly, sweetie, honestly, you're not going to go anywhere. Because self-love, it also comes from here. Because you need to love yourself. I mean, I can tell you this a thousand times. Self-love is the first love and the last love you will ever have in your life. Because no one will love you the way you love yourself.
that's a fact. So, self-awareness. Look, look after your emotions. Look after your thoughts. Self-care is... It's just not about a maintenance thing. Self-care is not about, oh, I need to get my nails done. I need to do my hair. I need to feel good. I need to clean, do a deep clean. That That is part of self-care, yes. And don't get me wrong. It's really important. Feeling good is a good... It, it makes you feel good. So feeling, feeling good, that's great. But self-care also includes, you know, getting to know yourself. Like spending time with yourself getting to know what you like what you don't like and at the end of the day when it comes to self-care if you know the version of you that you want to become in the future does this 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 and this why don't you start doing it now why don't you start loving yourself now why don't you start taking care of yourself now hmm? challenge the negative thoughts challenge them negative thoughts aren't good i mean you will have them yes but the way you react to them is also really important and so don't be here feeling bad about people that you see on social media be looking good and all that that ain't you if that had to be you you would have made a plan self-acceptance i mean the word says it itself self-acceptance accept who you are accept the way you are accept your body the way you want to live everything a bit of mind and body regular exercise i know i know there are people that don't love exercising like me and i tell you as much as i hate exercising guys it's actually it's actually when i'm done with it i actually feel good honestly because i hate exercising i hate moving excessively should i say but i do it either way why because it's good for me it's good for my mind it's good for my health it's good for my body i do it either way even though i don't like it because at the end of the day that thing exercising regularly it helps me on three bases illness and stress management stress is a really really bad thing stress is the number one is the number one companion of aging i said what i said because honestly stressing is not good it's, it's not something that's good for you it's not good for your health it's not good for your body it's not good for your mind why would you do it why would you stress over petty things that that ain't gonna that that's not doing you good and mindfulness be mindful of what you tell yourself be mindful of what you feed your brain be mindful of what you feed your body i mean because at the end of the day those are the basic things you need to take care of i know it sounds a lot but at the end of the day small steps matter small steps matter guys if you wanna if you want by the if you wanna have if you wanna move out of your house by the end of the year small steps small steps to you need you always need to take smaller steps to uh, to accomplish the bigger goal positive self-talk and affirmations <laughs> guys i tell you this positive self-talk and affirmations it's it's uh, it helped me a lot i would say that is what helped me a lot in gaining my confidence, boosting my self-esteem, my self-awareness, all of that. I mean, positive self-talk, it's so good for you. I mean, even if you feel so freakingly un unattracted to yourself or what, just, you know, find that one thing on your body. Find that one, one little thing part of your character that you love so much and feed it goal setting and abundance mindset i would say goal setting uh, um goal setting yes if you have big goals write them down break them down and start if you have small goals you can put them in your daily tasks big goals write them down break them down what do you need if you know one of your goals would be to have a car by the end of the year. I would say, break it down. Write down the car you want. Write down its price. 
write down what you need to make monthly to get to that amount and then after that write down what you need to make weekly after that you write down what you need to make daily you know you break your goals down it doesn't always have to be like this it doesn't work like that take things at a time and remember what i said failure is success failure is the best thing you could ever have embrace the mess abundance mindset having an abundance mindset i still do wanna put, uh, i wanna cover actually i actually wanna cover a whole vlog on abundance mindset please do let me know in the comments down below in the comments down below if you would love to see a vlog about abundance mindset because i would really love to do that for you guys um having an abundance mindset because that that's what i'm currently working on right now my abundance mindset um and having an abundant mindset basically means that you believe there is enough in the whole world for you to have enough of what you want and that is true at the end of the day that is true we are only what seven billion people in the world and how many resources are there in the world? I mean, there is enough. I, I'm actually putting it out there right now. I'm putting it out there. There is enough in the world for me to have whatever the hell I want, where, whenever I want it, and however I want it. You tell yourself that. You tell yourself that. Affirm that. Guys, I tell you, I honestly feel this is the beginning of something good because embrace the burning urge in you to succeed in you know take that pain you have take that trauma take that that emotions you have take it and embrace it and turn it into that burning desire to succeed to go forward in life don't take your pain your trauma and your bad emotions and go dump it in some alcohol or drugs or whatever the hell you feel like take it embrace it and move forward guys i dare you i literally i dare you to go and follow your dreams your dreams are a future it's, it's not a past dreams are not the past dreams are the future take your dream and begin the foundation of change <sighs> guys i would say this would be the end of the episode i basically almost covered everything i wanted to keep something some things hidden so um so you guys would love the ebook more but i basically i covered 90 percent of everything that it says in the ebook please do like comment share and subscribe please also share to your other socials for other people that might be struggling because sometimes there are people that struggle that don't want to talk so I would ask you to please share this to your other social media accounts, even if it's just like a story or anything, just for people to see that there are people that want to help them. There are people that care. There are people that want them to go forward, even, they, even though they don't know them. Because I, I don't know any of you guys, but what I do know is I'm here to help. I'm here to change my mindset, change my life, turn everything around, become the best version of myself. And take you with me well not in my life but your own yeah you understand because we all have a different path these are just the basic fundamentals that all of us have in common and that all of us share so i just wanted to share this with you guys i hope you love this video i hope you love this video i am really grateful to be sharing all of this information with you i will be back with the next vlog sooner than you might think because my research is done so I will be back sooner than you guys might think.